welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today we are doing a pocket page for the wedding love and marriage series. So pocket pages, I um, just want to stress are a very good way to take lots of extra photos, whether it be for a birthday, a wedding, a vacation, and you can get a lot of photos scrapped relatively fast and yet really play with your paper and use those scraps. You guys know I like to use scraps. In this next, um, this, this pocket page, I'm gonna use up all the scraps that I had from the first layouts. So I keep my scrap pile to a minimum. And I think that's really important to try to do because they build up. Oh my gosh, they build up so fast, right? So that's that's my goal is to use up scraps, but make beautiful um, pages and journaling blocks. Scraps are really good to make journaling blocks. Speaking of journaling blocks, I had a crafty friend gift me all of these papers. Look at this, and, and she gave me even more than this. Like they are specifically for a wedding and I am going to make some journaling spots out of them for my sister-in-law. And I'm going to put them in this um, pocket page and not just this one. You will see them when I do the layout share at the end, you will see a lot of the elements and I will send some to my sister-in-law and she can create her own. So also she gifted me these corners, she gifted me um this beautiful aren't these gorgeous like all i have to do is cut them and then a whole bunch of ephemera as well thank you so much thank you guys so much for blessing me it it i can't even begin to say thank you enough i just can't i can't okay so let's talk about the pocket page i get this pocket page um this one is an echo park one it happens to be um but you can get whatever you want. You can get them on scrapbook.com, wherever you can find them on sale, I say get them. Now this one is a four by four. They come in all different shapes and sizes, all right? So, now I'm hoping the glare is much better. Now that I have so much sunlight, I don't need to use my, my light unless I'm filming at night. Also, through this entire series, I've been using the Scrapper Sketch um, Facebook group sketches that Miss Lisa provides. and. This one here inspired me to make um, my journaling blocks and to do this pocket page. You do not have to think of sketches just in a 12 by 12 form. You can use them and adapt them in any way that you want to. And so I am going to use day one to make my journaling blocks. It's inspired me. It just reminded me, layer my paper, use my scraps. It's a wonderful, wonderful sketch. So definitely going to use that one, okay? Now, I have cut down, these are pictures to go with yesterday's layout. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, then you know that we were doing photos of Christine and her getting ready, and those are always fun pictures. And so today, we're going to continue to go on that journey. Now, I'm not gonna slide them inside of there until I'm all done. I just kind of want to play and do some trial and error and decide where I want these photos, okay? Here's a beautiful picture of her shoes. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. And then a beautiful picture of Christine. And what I've tried to do is give myself an odd number of photos. These are going to be what draws your eye around. And then my idea is to make her two clusters and two journaling spots. That's what I wanna do. So I have, just like in the sketch, where in this one here, sketch one from um, Scrap a Sketch, it's layering. So, and over here also, and really the entire, if you think about it, it's blocks on tops of blocks on top of blocks, right? You've got your large one, then you have this one, another one, and another one. Really a good, fun, easy sketch. And I, I love easy, <laughs> I love easy. So I have created this one. Now these are going to be, I think, my embellishment, um, blocks. So that's kind of how I see it. I love a good grid. <laughs> I really do. And so what I am going to do is I think I am going to put, remember yesterday's um, sticker that we didn't get to use? Where did I put it? Oh, I fussy cut it out and everything. Are you serious? It misappeared. Oh, there. It was right on top, you guys. 
<laughs> so I am going to set that right there because it is a special day for a bride. Absolutely. Remember yesterday, I almost used that as the title. Well, today I'm going to use it for real, for real. And then I don't know what I'm going to do here. I do know here, however, I am going to cut some of these down and put inside of there. So let me step away, decide, like this one says reflection, so I could cut this into a four by four, and I'm going to ink it, just like I have all of my flowers, and maybe put a little bit of embellishment on it, right? And I don't know what I'm gonna put over here, but I'll be right back, and I will we'll talk about it, and, and I'll have it all inked and ready to go. Okay, so I have created these two journaling blocks and now we just need to play and have some fun. All right, so what we're gonna do is I have no idea. It's time for some trial and error. Now I can build up on these for sure. I kind of like this one just the way it is. I can see it with some enamel dots um, around it. I think I could use the pink pearls again that I used on yesterday's layout, right? So here's yesterday's layout and I could use these pink pearls again. I think that would be a wonderful idea. Maybe also a butterfly, you know, cause we do have butterflies on this layout and um, Christine really does like butterflies. So I'm thinking also a butterfly. So let's pull that out. I guess I should have been more prepared. <laughs> You guys can't possibly be shocked anymore. I almost want to do the big one. So I'm just going to kind of cut it off. These are those clear ones. And I'm thinking a big butterfly here and then some pearl enamels. And that's it. Like that, that's going to be the whole thing. Then this one down here, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I pulled out some stickers um, I have some lacy bits because, let me see here, I have a little bit of lace here, right? So maybe I'm thinking of inking this with the pink and the brown and putting that on there as such. So since I want to do that, let's pull out the cutter here. The cutter. <laughs> the cutter. And let's, I'm thinking that's pretty probably good enough but let's make it a little bit long we can always make it shorter right we can't make it longer again and then let's ink it so when I have little dainty things like this to ink I will take my tweezers to hold it and I will I have feel like I have something more oops substantial to hold on to and it will keep your fingers from becoming the color of your ink, right? Now I'm still using this worn lipstick by um, Tim Holtz, and I will still be using the uh, brushed corduroy, my favorite brown, by also by Tim Holtz. And so you're just gonna use that. Now you can move the tweezers, which is what I should have done. I just have something to rest on my hand. We all get these tiny little things that would probably look better inked, but then we can't ink them because we can't get our hands around them. I have one of my besties ask me the other day how I do it. This is how I do it. I just hold on to it with some tweezers and pray. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Praying's always good though. <laughs> and just move your tweezers to where you need to be able to control it more. That's really what it's doing. It's just giving you more control, okay? So we'll ink that, and then I think maybe it could go right on here. Just like that, trial and error. We can always change our mind if we don't like it. No reason to stress about it. Now, I haven't glued or even temporary glued any of these things because I'm not sure what I want to do. I love the flower element because remember, we're going to have this next to this page here and then we're gonna flip it and we'll have the sister page. So I will create the sister page for the layout share later. I will do the B side of this also for the layout share later. For now, we're just gonna concentrate on here. Um, now I really like this dress sticker and I'm thinking what I want to do, I may even have to, should I trim it down? Hmm, I don't know. I could pull this out just a hair, pull this out, 
and pull this towards this way, right? And then, of course, I'm going to straighten it out. I know it's all crooked. At least as straight as I can do. You guys know me. It's straight. It doesn't always work. All right. Then I put, <coughs> I pulled out a champagne bottle. I do have this wreath that I thought maybe would work. It kind of has a lattice feel to me. I don't think I'm going to use that. I do have a camera, which I absolutely love that as well. Um, something old, something borrowed something blue. I think I'm going to use on the reverse side of this. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm not sure, but I do like this and it says good things to come. So I'm thinking now I don't have a lot of room to embellishment. I'm just basically making a four by four cluster. That's what I'm doing. Then I think we can maybe jizz it up with some flowers. Maybe kind of this one might look good up here just to give it a little something here let's see uh, i'm almost just liking that one the way it is just having that title stand out but i could maybe put this one here that's pretty isn't that pretty that's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous wish i had some more smaller ones i don't i have a lot of bigger ones okay so i think that looks really good the way it is i do have a little shoe here so I would kind of like to also put a shoe on here. Would that be too much? I don't know. Let's try it. We can always take it away. I kind of like it. Oh, my wax paper. I like that. Oh, I, didn't, I honestly, I thought maybe the shoe wasn't going to work, but I do like that a lot. And I'm tying the brownish colored, um, vintage look and I like that's why I picked this high heel because it has that brown outline I don't know if you can see that but it has a brown outline so I do think that will work on there just like that and again I will put some little pearls on here just like I will up here just like we're on the other page now I love that this is a letter almost like um when you write your husband a letter, some people do, some people don't, um, on the day of your wedding. And this here says what I love about him. So I was thinking I could somehow put this on here. Now, I kind of feel like it needs a little strip of green maybe across there or to anchor it. I I don't know yet. I can't decide. Hmm. I don't really know what I want to do. I could put this on there. Then we have that there. This one I'm thinking is going to go over here. I already inked it. I kind of knew that's what I wanted to do. So, because again, remember the sketch, I'm doing these layers. Okay. So I, I do kind of like the idea of that there. And so because I've done that, what if I were to map this one and then use the second half to put down here? I think that would be a super good idea. So I think that's what I will do when I step away to, um, to uh, glue all these pieces down and put them inside the pocket page. That, that I think would work. The champagne bottle, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think I want that. But I would map this and I think I will save that. And I just maybe this here or over here, over there. Yeah, because that draws your eye towards her beautiful face. So that, that's what I'm going to do. And then the pearls again here, I'll put like maybe two over here. And I think that's going to be the whole pocket. So what I'm going to do now, I could put a little butterfly may I wish I had more small butterflies this butterfly pack let me tell y'all doesn't have enough of the light colored ones but I think I could get away with this one so it's oh here's a small one like the ones we used on the charger page so you know this is kind of like a sister page it doesn't have to be super fancy let's see here I could put that whoops I can put that there. Love that. I already know that's working. Then, then I'd have one, two. I don't think I want to put one here, but maybe a small butterfly over here. 
and I don't have any more little ones like this. I don't, I do have another big one that's like that, but ugh, it, I mean, I think that might be too big. However, this one right here, I don't, I don't think it would be too cumbersome. So let's try it. You don't have to use it. I just cut them right off the sticker sheet instead of trying to peel them off. Cause once you peel these suckers up, they're not fun to put back. And then maybe just a right there with some pearls. One, two, um, I'd have to put a third pearl somewhere else, but that's okay. I think that would work. Hmm. I don't know. I want it to go this way for sure. Just like I think this one needs to turn this way. You want to turn things towards your um, photos. I like that. Okay, so then I have three butterflies on there. Not perfect match, but I do like it. I think it looks nice. And all of her um, photos have a vintage vibe to me. All right, let me go glue it down. I am going to mat this here with this green. It's the same green that this mat is out of and the same scrap as that. Um, and I am also going to put a strip of this along the base of there and I will ink it as well so that it all goes together. And then I will come right back and we'll talk about whatever I do different. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I have it all glued down. It is this not just precious? This is precious. Like, I really like this. I should do more pocket pages. Um, so here I'm going to hold each one up because they're basically their own individual little clusters. I'll put, you know, I'll, I will put um, close-ups at the end. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I really enjoy doing pocket pages to scrap a lot of photos. I will. And the special, I kind of almost like putting my journal blocks in the pocket pages um, because all Christine is going to have to do is pull this out, write on it. It's a small piece of paper. It's not the whole 12 by 12 layout. And then she can just slide it right back. Let me see if I can get it open. <laughs> smarter than the pocket ginger right back inside of here and it's already done wonderful gift you know if, if you just want to make someone a beautiful gift make them an album may and then send them the kit that you have left over because I am going to send Christine all of the things that I have bought to create this so she can continue it she's gonna have pictures that she wants to highlight all I've done is pick my favorites but it's her wedding so now with that said I'll probably scrap most of them. However, there are going to be ones, maybe this is her favorite photo and she wants it to highlight all by itself. We just, you know, you don't know. And I want to give her options. So see, this would be how it would look in the album. Um, let me make sure I'm over far enough. I'm over as far as I can get. That, that's the problem with two pages, right? So then I will do the sister page and I will flip this. This one, I will do the same way. And I'll share all that in the layout share. Tomorrow we're going to start a whole new layout. Um, and with that... Again, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a blessed day. Um, come on over to Ginger's Corner. We started something new today. It's so exciting. If you've watched earlier video, you know what that is. All right, you guys, have a blessed day. Join me tomorrow with a new layout. Uh, make sure you check out Scrap a Sketch Facebook group. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to do a newer sketch tomorrow. Um, I'm excited to do it. And with that said, I'll talk to you guys later and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.